You are the Republican candidate for president of the United States in 1860. Most of your life, you've been a politician. In fact, you were only 23 years old when you first ran for office. The only time you weren't in politics was a few years back when because your party was too weak, you left political life to work as a lawyer. Your friends say that you are very ambitious and that what you want most in the world is to be president. It's never easy to run for president, but these days it's especially difficult with the country deeply divided. Historically, you've been politically cautious and have not taken unpopular stands on issues. For example, in private, you tell people how much you dislike slavery, but publicly, you have never said that slavery should be abolished where it currently exists. In fact, in public, you never even spoke out against the fugitive slave law, which required Northerners in free states to help capture people who escaped from slavery. In private, you wrote, I confess, I hate to see the poor creatures hunted down, but I bite my lips and keep quiet. You are no abolitionist and have strongly condemned those abolitionists like John Brown, who broke the law and used violence in their efforts to stop slavery. However, you have always said that slavery should not be, should not spread to any new states or territories. You believe that what makes this a great country is the opportunity it provides its free citizens. If you work hard, you can rise and succeed. Look at you, your parents were not rich, and now you may become president. Right now, what you want most is to be elected. That will require you to convince people who have very different interests and ideas to compromise and to see that your positions are the best. You will be able to please some of the, some of the people on some of the issues, but not all the people on all the issues. Good luck. In the campaign period, you will meet with as many of the groups as you can, listen to their concerns, and test out some of your positions. They will also be talking to each other to try to build alliances so that they can urge you to adopt their position on various issues. Here's a hint. In order to win, you will probably need a majority of at least three of the four groups.